Gentlemen, start your engines. On this episode of Rockin' Through the Great Vines, Deer Park Winery and Auto Museum in Escondido, California. My name is Erin McAndrew. I'm a singer-songwriter that performs at a lot of wineries. So I try a lot of wine. Join me as I taste wines, chase dreams, and play some tunes. Welcome to Rockin' Through the Great Vines. On this episode, I'm featuring Deer Park Winery and Auto Museum in Escondido, California. Now, I know what you're thinking. Did you just say winery and auto museum? Sure did. Deer Park Winery is one of the most unique tasting experiences of any of the wineries that I've ever been to. And you viewers know that I've been to a lot of wineries. While most wine drinkers might head to Deer Park Winery to taste the wines, anyone can enjoy the other part of the experience. Deer Park Winery's collection of dozens of cars from some of the earliest automobiles to the muscle cars of the 1970s, including cars that very likely drove the highways of Southern California for most of the 20th century. In addition, the museum features other artifacts of Americana, including vintage televisions, radios, phonographs, refrigerators, memorabilia, a Texaco gas station, and even an entire room devoted to the history of Barbie dolls and Barbie doll cars. Now, when I went in the room, I was like, I definitely had some of these back in the 80s and 90s. Definitely did. But how awesome is that? The winery also regularly features events like car shows. Appropriately enough, Deer Park Winery celebrates history not just with its museums, but also with its wines. The wines that Deer Park Winery serves are not recent vintages, which fits with the classic atmosphere of the museum. When I was there, they were pouring a 27-year-old Zinfandel. The server said that it was probably older than me, and it definitely wasn't, but hey, I'll take the compliment. Today, I'll be tasting the Deer Park 2004 Sangiovese. As you can see, the label design features a vintage car, in this case, a classic 1941 Buick. But how classic is the wine? Let's try it out. <clears throat> Mmm, yes, that aged well. So this one has a lot of ripe fruit notes with a jammy long finish. This one would be great with spaghetti. Um, I'm also drinking it chilled, which gives it a more refreshing taste. Perfect for a nice summer day. And yes, I do believe that you can chill red wine sometimes depending on what it is, so don't judge, okay? As always, click below to download my free music and be sure to hit subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next time, cheers. <laughs>